Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the shadowy world of cybersecurity, but with a twist. We're not talking about your usual run-of-the-mill hacking tools. Oh no, today we're going off the beaten path to uncover some seriously obscure Wi-Fi hacking tools you've probably never even heard of. We're talking about those hidden gems on GitHub, the ones that don't get the same limelight as the big players, but are just as potent. Now, before you get any ideas, let me be clear. We're not here to endorse any illegal activities. This is all about education, folks. It's about understanding the tools and techniques that malicious actors use so we can better protect ourselves. So, whether you're a cybersecurity enthusiast or just someone who wants to be more aware of the digital world around you, stick around. We're going to break down five of these lesser known tools, see what makes them tick, and most importantly, learn how to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. Let's get started. All right, let's kick things off with a tool called Wi-Fi Pumpkin. Now this one sounds like it belongs in a Halloween special, but trust me, it's no joke. Wi-Fi Pumpkin is a Python-based framework, which basically means it's a set of tools that work together to let you create your very own rogue Wi-Fi access points. And it even comes with a fancy graphical interface, so you don't have to be a command line wizard to use it. Think of it like this. You're at a coffee shop, connect to the free Wi-Fi, and bam, you've just handed over your credentials to a hacker running Wi-Fi pumpkin on their laptop. Scary stuff, right? But that's the point. Wi-Fi pumpkin is designed for security researchers, ethical hackers, you know the good guys, to test network vulnerabilities by simulating these malicious hotspots. It's all about finding those weaknesses before the bad guys do. Now, Wi-Fi Pumpkin is pretty versatile. You can use it to launch attacks like Evil Twin, where you create a fake access point that looks identical to the real one, or Captive Portals, those annoying login pages you sometimes see on public Wi-Fi. And once someone connects to your fake network, you can capture their credentials, monitor their traffic, you name it. The crazy thing is, Wi-Fi Pumpkin is less known than some other tools out there like Wi-Fi Fisher. But honestly, I think it's just as powerful, if not more so, because of its flexibility. Plus, it's a great way to learn about how these attacks work in a safe environment. So yeah, Wi-Fi Pumpkin, definitely one to keep an eye on. It's a stark reminder that you can't always trust public Wi-Fi, and it highlights the importance of using a VPN and being cautious about the networks you connect to. Remember folks, Stay vigilant. Next up, we're diving into the world of mobile hacking with Flux ER. Now this one's a bit of a niche tool, specifically designed for Termux environments. For those who don't know, Termux is basically a Linux terminal emulator for your Android phone. It's like carrying a mini hacking lab in your pocket, which is pretty awesome. So what does Flux ER do? Well, it's essentially a bash script that automates the setup and execution of another tool called Fluxion. Fluxion itself is a beast when it comes to cracking WPA, WPA2 Wi-Fi passwords using evil twin attacks. It's all about capturing those handshakes, those little exchanges of information when you connect to a Wi-Fi network, and then cracking them offline to get the password. But here's the thing, setting up Fluxion can be a bit of a pain, especially on a mobile device. That's where FluxER swoops in to save the day. It simplifies the whole process, making it super easy to get Fluxion up and running on your phone. Now, FluxER isn't a standalone tool, it's more like a helpful wrapper for Fluxion. And it's definitely not as widely known, which is a shame because it's a great example of how even your phone can be a powerful tool for security research. Of course, we're talking about ethical hacking here, folks. Using FluxER to audit your own network tested security, that sort of thing. It's all about understanding the tools and techniques that are out there so you can better protect yourself. Hold on to your hats, folks, because this next one is a bit wild. We're talking about WPA2 Half Handshake Crack, a script that does exactly what its name suggests. It cracks WPA2 passwords using only half a handshake. Yeah, you heard that right, half a handshake. Now, if you're familiar with Wi-Fi security, you know that capturing a full four-way handshake is usually essential for cracking WPA2 passwords. 
but this script throws that notion out the window. It leverages some clever techniques to capture and utilize partial handshakes, which can be incredibly useful in certain scenarios where getting the full handshake is just not possible. Think of it like this. You're a security researcher trying to test the security of a Wi-Fi network, but you can't get close enough to capture a full handshake. That's where WEPA2 Half Handshake Crack comes in. It gives you a fighting chance of cracking the password, even with limited information. Now, this tool is definitely not for the faint of heart. It's experimental, not very well documented, and requires a good amount of technical skill to use effectively. But that's part of what makes it so fascinating. It's a testament to the ingenuity of the security research community and the constant cat and mouse game between hackers and defenders. WPA2 Half Handshake Crack might not be the most practical tool for everyday use, but it's a perfect example of how creative thinking and a deep understanding of Wi-Fi protocols can lead to some truly groundbreaking results. It's a reminder that the world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, and there are always new and innovative ways to approach security challenges. Let's move on to something a little more stealthy, shall we? I'm talking about Wi-Fi Sky, a penetration testing tool that's all about flying under the radar. This one's available for both Linux and Termux, so you can use it on your computer or your trusty hacking phone. Now, Wi-Fi Sky might not have the flashiest name, but don't let that fool you. This tool is packed with features for testing the resilience of your Wi-Fi network. We're talking de-authentication attacks, password stealing, the works. But what sets Wi-Fi Sky apart is its focus on stealth and automation. Imagine this. You're a network administrator and want to test how your Wi-Fi network holds up against common attacks, but you don't want to disrupt legitimate users. That's where Wi-Fi Sky shines. It can launch these attacks discreetly without raising too many red flags. It's like a ninja silently slipping through the network, testing defenses and exploiting weaknesses without anyone noticing. And the automation features are where things get really interesting. You can set up Wi-Fi Sky to run specific attacks at certain times or when certain conditions are met. Now, Wi-Fi Sky might be a bit obscure compared to some of the bigger names in the Wi-Fi hacking world, but that's part of what makes it so effective. It's a reminder that sometimes the most dangerous attacks are the ones you don't see coming. All right, for our final act, we're going back to basics, but with a twist. Meet Pixie WPS Core's WPS Shack Python, a script that proves sometimes the oldest tricks in the book are still effective. This one's all about exploiting WPS, or Wi-Fi Protected Setup, which is supposed to make connecting to Wi-Fi networks easier. The problem is, WPS has some inherent flaws that can be exploited to retrieve the network's password, and that's where PyxyPS WPS Shack Python comes in. This script leverages two other tools, Reaver and PixyDPs, to launch targeted attacks against WPS-enabled routers. Think of it like this. WPS is like a shortcut for getting into your Wi-Fi network, but sometimes that shortcut leads to a backdoor that hackers can exploit. And PixieBP Hack Python is like a skeleton key designed to unlock that backdoor and gain access to the network. Now, this script is pretty niche. It's only effective against routers that have WPS enabled, and it's not as widely known as Reaver, which is a standalone tool for WPS attacks. But that's also what makes it interesting. It shows that even in the ever-evolving world of cybersecurity, old vulnerabilities can still linger, and sometimes the simplest tools can be the most effective. So if you're still using WPS on your router, this is your wake-up call. Disable it. There are plenty of other ways to secure your Wi-Fi network that don't involve leaving the back door wide open. There you have it. Five Wi-Fi hacking tools from GitHub that fly under the radar but pack a punch for security research. Remember, the goal here isn't to turn you into a hacker. I'm not suggesting you go download these or start messing with networks. That's not the vibe here. Instead, it's about peeling back the layers of cybersecurity, showing you the tools and techniques that are out there, and emphasizing why protecting your Wi-Fi is so crucial. These tools, as obscure as they may be, highlight the vulnerabilities that exist in the wireless world. 
from fake hotspots to sneaky pin grabs, it's a constant reminder that we need to be vigilant about our online security. So, what do you think? Ever heard of any of these? Let me know your favorite Wi-Fi security tip in the comments. I'm all ears. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay curious and secure.